She's sliding on grease. You got a problem? I like quick breakfasts. We got barbell bars right here. You can grab some as well. Holiday crisps is actually my favorite ones. I thought it was a caramel cashew, cashew caramel, but nah, these bad boys. Go ahead and grab the protein. Pop this joint in the mouth real quick. Pop my pre-workout. Head to the gym while I sip on some NoCo in the process. Some BCAs, a little bit of caffeine in it, or some caffeine-free BCAs. I like carbonated drinks. That's just me. But today's video is about speed training, explosiveness, and speed training again. We're gonna work on linear speed, about few exercises. We're gonna do like five exercises for you guys to get faster right now, today. Increase your speed ASAP, Rocky, on the rocks, no salt on the rim. Got it. Before we get this video started, I just wanna love you guys. Um, but I would love you so much more if you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And definitely check out the cards or the end screen videos after you finish this one. Let's go. All right, so we are at the gym right now. Today we're gonna to go through five exercises for you guys to work on weekly for you to increase your linear speed. For those who don't know what linear is, that's your straightforward speed. Video. Boom, just like that. So first exercise start now. We have our ankle bands on us right now. What we're gonna do is focus on glute activation and quad activation and hip flexors, right? So we're gonna get along the wall, just like this. Get in the ankle, just like this. And we're gonna bring this leg up. We're gonna keep that, that toe dorsi flexed. And we're just gonna step down. Quick replacement of the foot. One, two, three, four. What you're gonna feel with these bands is not only are your hip flexors and quads going to contract, but you're also gonna feel on that back leg, the glutes having to squeeze as well. Your power is gonna come from that, that buttock, that backside. So a lot of people really don't focus on strengthening these areas when it comes to heavy, because the higher, the better you can bring your legs up and push off from the glute, that power from the glute, the more you're gonna be able to propel yourself, the more ground you're gonna cover. With sprinting, it's about how much ground we cover in each step. I see a lot of people doing ninja steps. You know, they look fast, but they're not gaining enough ground. We need to gain ground. Therefore, we need power in each step as we sprint. So this was going to start off and teach you how to develop those areas strengthening to be able to propel yourself even further and more through each step as you're sprinting. I don't care where you get the bands from. I got these from Perform Better, whatever. Just grab some. These are definitely much needed. You need to be working with bands weekly, weekly, at least three times a week. If you're trying to get better and become a better athlete, if you're trying to get faster, whether it's linear speed, lateral speed, you need to have bands on. Overhead, I want your arms overhead as you do the marches because what that's gonna allow you to do is it's gonna make sure that you're keeping your, your uh, hips forward. I don't want your, arc, but your back arched when doing this. I want you overhead, boom, like this. Instead of being, I don't want you like this, I want you like this, keep your pelvis tilted, boom, boom. Two, three, four, and just about 15, 20, 20 marches forward, 20 marches back. And the reason why we're gonna do this is because it's gonna teach you to not have that arch and to continually keep those glutes activated, keep those hips forward. We wanna propel ourselves forward, don't we don't wanna be back here. We put our we put ourselves back here and run like this with a big ass arch. We're pretty much shortening our stride. If you're right here, you're able to get out more. 
if your butt's all the way back here, you're literally disadvantaging yourself. So for me, what I do is for advanced people that know how to spread, know this exercise, you have a weight above the head, just like this, step forward. One key thing about this is just really trying to stay in a good range of motion. Don't force it, but we're still trying to get that knee up as high as possible. You know, with the bands, you're definitely gonna have that resistance, you're gonna have that pull. You're gonna feel that pull from that front frontal right into the hips. But just try to keep it boom, down, boom. You'll feel that squeeze in the glutes and you'll feel that tightness right here. Take off our shackles. Now it's time to run like a getaway slave. Try to understand what is it for you that is the problem. Is it your dry phase, which is pretty much your about first five to six steps in your sprint? Or is it your pretty much transition into your full length, full stride, all the way down to your finish? What we're gonna do next is going to take control over both of those things. All right, so definitely pay attention, like this video, subscribe to the channel. Also, a few ideas for videos for anything else you guys wanna know as far as getting faster, athletic, jumping higher. What, guy, what, what do you guys want? Comment down below. This bad boy is one of the greatest tools in fitness industry history. The thing about this is it helps with endurance, drive, speed, pretty much everything you need to become a better athlete and to get fit, burn fat. But for I, anybody that I have as a client, we are 100% using this weekly, whether it be to get faster or for endurance, you know, and, and with those two things added, burning fat in the process. There's a lot of noise going on. Anyways, as I said, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to focus on the drive, a three, four, three to five good steps, good press. We're gonna rip off to the side and get about another six to eight more steps in after. What we're gonna do is it's called contrast training. A lot of you guys who've been on my channel for a while know what contrast training is. As the third exercise, this is what we're gonna be doing. This is a great exercise for anybody to do to get faster in that drive phase, to get more powerful, and also get faster off of the drive. So, once again, about three to five good steps. One, two, three, four, five. Hard pushes, rip off to the side, and then just haul ass. <laughs> This one's a bit different, right? I'd prefer these to be a lot closer. Therefore, I can grip like this versus having to grip out so wide and having to pull off so wide. Usually, I'd rather want it like this close for all the way out here. And I can't push it up here because if I push it up here, then it's going to dip into the ground. So I'm just trying to find a good hand placement, uh, body placement to be able to even push this out correctly. So the next exercise we have is the boot ham raise. Now these are a must for everyone. I say do these at like, I'm not even joking, three times a week. Get this into your program three times a week. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So do those days right there. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I don't care what you're doing on those days. Put them in your weekly routine three times. Why? because the importance of, of the development your hamstrings need in order for you to get faster. A lot of people don't understand this. You need your hamstring, your hamstring takes a load from, from a single leg, it's by itself. One leg, one leg loaded by itself, maximum force. All that force you're putting into the ground, all that force your, your hamstrings need to, to pull, to propel yourself forward your hamstrings need to be able to support the body. And the best way to figure out how strong your hamstrings really are 
doing the GHRs. Once again, three times a week. I'm still folk I'm still trying to be able to do these without needing to need help get back up. If you see, uh, I think Tyreek, he does this. Tyreek, he, he super cheetah, fast as hell, does these easily. He, and for his size, you know what I'm saying, he has that strength to be able to pull himself quickly and be as fast as he can. And you have to be able to do, uh, you should at least be able to do this five times without help, being able to come up with your hamstrings. I, I couldn't do it on the, the thing I'm, I'm doing now because uh, I don't have like, a good support on my ankles to be able to pull myself up so i just had to focus on the eccentric uh the eccentric focus which is the negative um versus the concentric which is pulling myself back up so i say sets of what we need to do sets of six focus on that strength sets of sets of six uh, focus on the negative for about five sets five sets of six reps all together do this three times a week and i promise you you will definitely feel a difference in your speed just by doing this alone you, you can you can cancel out all these other exercises well besides sprinting because you need to sprint to get faster and you can do this alone and i promise you you will still feel a huge difference in your sprinting when i started doing these and i went back to like regular practice because i had tore my hamstring and i really started putting uh, these back into my program and the difference i felt just even like standing still and being able to just shoot forward it was day and night fifth exercise today is squats but not just any squat we are focusing on box squat the reason why we're focusing on box squat because the upper half upper portion of the squat is what's most beneficial when it comes to sprinting when it comes to sprinting faster when it comes to the strength needed in the areas that are most important for sprinting but in all we're focusing on maximum output and power. And the great thing about these is you can do close stance, wide stance, closer stance to focus more on the posterior chain, the, the quads, and we can do wider stance, which if we want to really focus more on the glutes and speed. Be quick. Usually I would do this, super set it in with some sprints, heavy. Heavy set of this mixed in with some sprints. I guarantee you when I first started doing that, that's when I had my fastest 40 time. jump squat our seated jump squats for a set of three super set right after our box squats getting the heavy lifting out the way using that feeling of those heavy lifting that same intensity on the other side of that bench and explode up so if you can't run you can't go run after doing a box squat this is the second best thing that you can do right here because you're still incorporating that that fast twitch and you're doing something body weight right after having their weighted movement all right y'all that is the full workout don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel let me know which exercise you enjoyed the most and uh i got another video coming for you guys of my number one i didn't add it i didn't add it to this i didn't add it for this specific reason i want to make a video of my number one workout or exercise to increase all you know what no no no, no. You know, I'll take that back. We're gonna have my number one work exercise to increase your speed. But also, next video, we're gonna have a, a video where you don't need any equipment to increase your speed. That's what we're gonna do, because I know a lot of people have issues with getting weights or getting into the gym, we got COVID, things are, are closing down again. 
So I'm going to provide what I can for those who don't have the access to a gym or some weights. And uh, we're, we're still going to get active, get after it. Don't forget to like and subscribe once again. It's your boy FBF. I'm out. We out.